Hi, welcome. Hello. My name is Juliana Grunio. Um, I've worked here for Think Together for about 16 years now, and I'm a quality insurance coach, so I'm really glad you're here today. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, my name is Marina rodriguez Rohrabacher. I'm a student at Moreno Valley College. I'm a biology major, and I'm a part of the middle college program, so I'm also a junior in high school. Um, this brings me one step closer to reaching my educational goal. I have attended SeaWorld resident camp for the last three years, and from that I've gained teamwork and communication skills. I have also volunteered with Think Together for the last four years, and from that I've gained organization skills and time management skills. Um, I'm a hardworking, dedicated student with a 4.5 GPA who could get the job done. Nice. What exactly did you volunteer here? Um, I worked at Bethune with Jared Howard and I uh, helped specifically uh, Jennifer, the PL. Yeah. And I heard that you worked at SeaWorld. I've heard a lot about that. Um, how was your experiences there? Um, it was really amazing. At first, I started my freshman year there. So I was part of the 7-9 group. And then I went on to become a career camper. And I watched over the 5-6 and 7-9 groups and kept them on task. Um, I was then promoted to becoming a part of the panel and influencing others to uh, join the program. Nice. Why are you interested in this company? I'm interested in this company because I really have a passion for working with kids and hoping to see them succeed and reach their all of their educational goals. Uh, I would love to be a part of the reason they are successful. Yes, they these kids do definitely need someone to look up to. And yeah. what are your strengths? Something I'm very good at, or at least I feel, is communicating and working as a team. I believe I'm someone who these kids could look up to. And what are your weaknesses? Uh, unfortunately, sometimes I'm a little too involved with my work and I stay after hours to make sure everything's completed. Uh, I feel like this is a weakness because I could sometimes go a little overboard in perfection. Yeah, I think we all can pretty much do that and relate. So you said you have collaboration skills and this is highly needed for this job because you do have to work with six others. You're going to be around kids, other people who are coming in and out of this job. So you need collaboration skills. So how would this help you? Um, I know if I get this job, I will be working with other program leaders. This will help me make sure that um, everyone is on the same page, working effectively and getting the job done. And how do others describe you? Um, I would say that others describe me as hardworking, passionate, and dedicated. Yeah. And how do those things that they describe you as help you in this job? Um, being hardworking, I could easily get my work done, uh, determined to make sure that it's good and uh, reaches everyone's expectations or exceeds them, and passionate by being happy as I get the job done. So if you do get this job, and you do succeed, what skills do you hope to acquire? Um, I hope to better my skills already. Um, I feel like communication is a big part of any job and that could always be improved because you have to ensure that everyone feels comfortable and is able to express themselves. What is the difference between a good leader in your eyes and a bad leader? Um, I believe a good leader consists of someone who um, works effectively no matter what the circumstances are, uh, continues to better themselves, not only for them, but for everyone around them, and helps their peers and continues to um, support them to do their best. Yes. And what are you going to do if you make a mistake? If I make a mistake, um, well, I, honestly, I think mistakes only help us improve and they're bound to happen. They're, they're inevitable. Um, I would take full responsibility to fix a situation as I learn from it. So let's suppose you and a coworker don't get along or don't agree on a certain situation. How are you as a coworker going to help resolve the solution fast and effectively? Um, like I said, communication is a big part of any job, and I think you would have to um, go ahead and talk with that coworker. And if it's something outside of of work, then you have to keep your emotions out of it, but just be able to um, make sure you see the other side of the story and come to a conclusion and try to 
find your peace. Yes. So you are going to be working with kids. So how are these kids going to be able to look up to you? What are you going to tell them? How are you going to encourage them? Um, I think being able to have fun as you learn is really important. So uh, being able to get your homework done and still having fun as you're learning new words or um, trying to figure out a fun math problem and taking a break to go outside, breathe for a little bit, and then continue. And do you have any other like ideas or any innovative situation or anything to help better this program? Do you have any ideas on how you are going to help? Um, as I volunteered, I noticed that we have a lot of the same um, attention getters and um, snack time games. Mm -hmm. And I think coming up with new ones would really get the kids a little more involved and interested in the program. Yeah. So can you elaborate on what other activities you would like to do with them? Um, during homework time, sometimes it could get a little frustrating and I think maybe just taking the time, taking a breather is really important for the kids. Yes, definitely. So we've been through the interview and do you have any questions on the job or do you have any questions on how it works or? Um, what skills do you believe would help me succeed in this position? So like we have been talking about, communication is highly, highly needed here. Mm -hmm. You're working with tons of people on the site and kids who automatically, some don't have the best you know, best communication skills. So when you are working with them, I definitely think that's big. You are going to be working effectively and this can help you in your day-to-day -day life. This can help you in any other job you apply to or anything. So I do definitely think that this job is definitely right for you. And I do think that this can help you become successful in any field. So yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for this You're opportunity. Welcome. Thank you.